Well, I got this situation straightened away. Put a regular marble sight on there. And I kind of lucked out in that I did not have to change the front sight. And that is a regular brass beaded sight underneath that hood, so I just took the hood off. And I, you know, I, I lucked out in that, well, in the first place, the height was right. Though I might have to go slightly up on the insert because I noticed on my target, I was shooting like 50 yards just offhand. And then you kind of look for tendencies. And I can see right in here is where I tended to hit the most. So I might have to go over a little bit and raise that insert just a little bit to get it down so that they're all here. But I'll wait until I get out on the 100 yard range and do that off the bench. But this is amazingly close for just putting that sight on. But also I was shooting this with these, which are the 40 grain full metal jacket because I found <laughs> the other day when I was shooting these rabbits, I was shooting with these, which are a 30 grain, really big hollow point. You know, that's a huge hollow point. So they expand very easily, uh, a little tough on the meat on a rabbit. You know, a solid point will go right to a rabbit and that's all you need. You know, this is actually, they refer to it as a varmint but yeah, it says Maximag TNT. And I tell you, they just blow up. You know, I hit one rabbit up on the spine. Well, I hit one in the head, and darn it, took the head off. Hit one on the spine right above the shoulders. It did a hell of a lot of damage up there. So, you know, better off a solid point. That's plenty good for these. But I think you could take a fox down with one of these very easily. They really, really expand. I think Brian sent me these because that's the problem with, you know, normally if you can find somebody locally who carries 22 Magnum, you're probably going to find these, the full metal jacket that are, uh, it says target and plinking. But that's generally what you run into. Well, these are a little bit faster. And then, like I say, whew, a lot of expansion, just crazy amount of expansion because that's a huge hollow point. And it's got kind of serrations in it, so it's, it's just itching to, to blow up. Jeez, hell on rabbits. You know, more so than you want it to be. But I like this. This was, you know, Marble Arms. If you go to marblearms.com, this little guy, they carry all their sights. And this is the one I had on hand. It's a uh, number 67, which is the semi buckhorn long shank. Now you can get the, the shorter ones, which for a carbine is generally what you use, the shorter ones, but I kind of like the long ones, so I usually keep them in stock, and since I use this one up, I order another one in right away. They're, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks. No, they're not that expensive. But the reason I ordered another one was because I like the way that works so much. Now, this is my 39A. It's got that same... You know, sort of a buckhorn, but sort of not a buckhorn. You know, just a, a dished out with a very tiny groove in it. So, they work fine for target shooting. You know, if you're targeted, but for hunting, because that's something people got to get into the head. There's a big difference between target shooting and hunting. You know, the sights that work fine for target shooting are not going to be your, your hunting sights. It's a whole different animal. But these, you know, they've been around for a hundred years. And they approve themselves. And I, I like that adjustable insert. I like to be able to, you know, and it's got a, a notch on one side and a V on the other side. You know, you could flip that, that insert upside down or adjust it up and down. 
brings to mind one time I know I was watching a what is it Hickok 45 and he was shooting I think it was a, a Marlin cowboy and his complaint was that they had that diamond on there and he said that weight was distracting him which I thought was odd because it's there to you know to help you line it up in a hurry but you have to keep in mind he is a target shooter he doesn't hunt he just shoots targets okay if you got time to sit there and line that up you don't need that diamond in there and you can reverse that insert and get rid of the diamond you know it works the same way the other direction but for hunting, you have to be able to acquire your target very quickly. You have to be lined up. You, you don't have time to be messing around. And often you're shooting at a, a moving target. You're not shooting at stationary pop bottles or watermelons. Things move, and you've got to be able to move with them.